Hey guys welcome back to another video on the channel and in this video I am going to show you guys my builder base attack strategies and my base defense as well as the progress that is going on in my builder base so first I am getting this bevel cannon to level 4 and the baby dragon is going to level 3 as well so those are the upgrades as far as we go and the clock tower is already level 2 and it's on cooldown for now and as far as my battle log goes it's victories and defeats mixed i don't have a winning streak or a losing streak it's completely random and my trophies are at 2100 and 21 and as far as my attack strategy goes i use level 6 raised barbs and 6 archers 30 barbs and 6 archers so guys without any further delay let's hop right into my attack so as you can see in this base there was a crusher and it was on the other side of the way so i started by dropping some archers on this cannon and a barbarian and luckily we got the mega mine and now my barbarians are safe if they go in in groups because Mega Mine and Crusher are the barbarians' biggest enemy. They just blow up all of them at once. So now I will just spread out my barbarians and then followed by the archer. And the barbarians will make it into the base. And as you can see, and as you guys can see, the barbarians completely wreck the builder hall and the archers are doing the cleanup while the barbarians are tanking for them and these remaining archers will grab that elixir collector and there goes the crusher crushing all the barbs in that area but luckily we had two archers left and that will get us the 70 percent which is more than enough for the win And let's see how our base did on defense. This is my base and it is the very popular BS3 base but I edited it out and spread out the structures so that the giants cannot go around and they get stuck on this wall. And as you can see he used the same strategy by sending out the giants and then followed by the baby dragon. And there goes the firecracker and it completely wrecked the baby dragon and the giants are still stuck on the wall while all of his archers are almost dead. And here is his last baby dragon and some archers that are on the town hall. But luckily our crusher will save us from killing the giant. And now there is only one baby dragon left for cleanup and he has just got 37% and that's the attack. I got a 70% and he got a 37% so that's a win for me. Let me show you another victory. Luckily for us his archer tower was upgrading and his crusher was exposed. So taking advantage of that I used my archers to take out the crusher and then spammed all my barbarians in from the bottom. The mega mine and the smaller mines clearly hurt our barbarians because they take out more than half of their health. As you can see these barbarians are coming back for the double cannon and now they are all going to go for the tesla and then the builder all. and look how fast they destroy the builder all just like that luckily for us his archer towers are grading so our barbarians survived long enough to take out their builder all 
and that's the attack number two. And now here is the defense for that attack. He just dropped four giants, level six giants, and followed by so many archers. The guard post troops really help in distracting the archers. And there goes the mega mine taking out four archers. And the cannons are focusing on the archers. And there go the giants into the crusher, and the crusher will just crush them. And the giants are down. Luckily, we have the archer tower set on long range, and that's why the archers cannot snipe more structures. And that's 41 percent. And for this last attack, he has his air defense upgrading, but still he has long range archer tower. So I decided to go ground attack on him and not take advantage of the upgrading air defense. I will start by dropping off one archer on the clock tower and one on the army camp, and I will take out this cannon. And now I will deploy rest of the archers on the crusher and then deploy my barbarian so that the archers can take out the crusher without anyone distracting them. And here the barbarians will go around the base and some of them will luckily go in and those are enough to take out the builder hall by themselves. These barbarians do really good amount of damage and there goes the mega mine which took out so many of the barbarians and that 69 percent and the guard force troops come to distract my archers and barbarians and that's why i wasn't able to get that last archer tower for the 70 percent let us see the defense on this base this attack and here he was also attacking us so let's see how he did he will also deploy one archer to snipe off my star laboratory and then two archers and then he will just spam all rest of the barbarians and archers at one place and our mines go off and damaging the archers and taking them down to half health and the string traps also are doing the best and all of his archers will rotate around the base and with a double cannon and a cannon and an archer tower shooting, the archers will die quickly enough, giving us the win as we got 69% and he just got 60%. And let's finish off this video by doing the live attack. Okay, so this guy has his crusher on the outside. So let's start by sniping of this these structure so that the archers can directly target the crusher next Luckily we triggered the mega mine before the barbarians were able to reach it and that's why the barbarians will head straight for the builder hall I guess. Yeah, but I guess they won't have enough firepower to take out the builder hall or will they? Yeah, we took out the builder hall and got the 2 star and I guess that's a win for us. And there's the 72% and that's a win. 
opponent is still attacking and i hope that he gets less than 72 percent Fifty percent destroyed. Okay. And there you can see this army is very effective. And let's see how did we do on our base. Oh, I forgot that our double cannon was upgrading, so that's why he got the two star. I guess that's a very huge defensive loss on our side because the double cannon also does a lot of damage. Here, he will just spam his archers and then send the giants from the above, and then he will follow them up by the barbarians. And the barbarians got the builder all and here you can see our crusher going to work on the barbarians only if we had the double cannon is barbarians will enter use the builder all I would suggest you guys to get level 6 rage barbarians as soon as possible and also get the 4th army cam as the first thing you come on builder hall 4 because the 4th army cam really is a game changer and it helps a lot. I hope you have enjoyed this video and as always please like comment and subscribe for more and I will see you guys in the next video and please let me know in the comments below if this strategy is working for you and if not and also let me know if there are any flaws in the video and and later on instagram i will post the video of me gearing up my first cannon which requires a double cannon level 4 which will be done in a few hours so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and Till the next video, peace out.